I'm in the trunk, ready for Trevor to get back. Should be any minute. The door is opening now. Hi, friend. Whoa! <laughs> Good grief. Are you ready to talk about your party room film from this past year and the Party Room Film Festival uh, podcast? Uh, yes, I suppose so. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't drop that. <laughs> yes. I was like, why I'm is there a post? Does this still be no, going on? Yeah, yeah, I am actually going to delete that at some point. <laughs> I was like, there's a person in there. That's, oh, all right. Yeah. Hey, Hello, dude. How are you? I think Yu-Gi-Oh is the or the company Konami is the first trading card company that actually created in their rules like for their tournament policy really? okay. that you can't stink. Really? Like like they ah! said if you smell too bad they can DQ you from an event because <laughs> because people be, a problem. people become in a tournament stinky. <laughs> and if you've got to play against a dude that is stinky for an hour, you can't breathe. You're oh, just no, trying no. to get out of there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, honestly, more honest, yeah. yeah. Honestly, more 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 companies should consider yeah, doing like, something like that. I, I've never seen it in person, but I could only imagine the judge call on that. Like, ju judge, <laughs> he, he is stinky. <laughs> like, can we get a second opinion on, on this, this guy's bo? Uh, yeah, get this man out of here. Awesome. Uh, all right, well, we'll get started. Cool. Trevor, thank Hello. you. Hi, how are you doing? Doing well. How are you? Welcome to the P double F P. Uh, for this year, Party P Room Film Festival podcast. Party P R double F. Yeah, P you're right. Yeah. I, missed, I missed the R. P R double F P. F -P, P. Is this three or? This is the third year of the podcast. Yeah, so we're 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 P R double F P three for P R double F V V or P R V as people are saying perv perv perv. <laughs> is that well? Well, technically, we're doing it for year four. We're doing this for year four, yeah, but we're, yeah, we're, 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 on we're five. moving yeah. okay, into year excellent. five. Excellent. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah. But this will be on, on year four. four. Perfect. Um, how surprised were you to see me in your trunk? Uh, quite surprised. <laughs> quite surprised. Yeah, I uh, I was saying earlier, I didn't, like, it didn't register, like, when Callie opened the trunk, that there was, like, a person in the trunk. Yeah. That was the, I was like, I, I mean, I'm like you said, I'm glad I didn't drop the case of LA. I'm, uh, part, <laughs> honestly, part of me is glad you were holding something because like, I figured there's like a 50-50 chance yeah. that like your fight or flight right. kicks in and yeah. you just like sock me Like in the punch stomach. you? Yeah, yeah, certainly. No, I was, I was just astounded that there was a person crawling out of the trunk and I didn't know how to, how to, uh, my brain wasn't computing properly yeah. in that yeah. moment. Yeah. No, I, I can't wait to catch the, the clip of it. Yeah. I, I set up a GoPro <laughs> in the corner of the garage. <laughs> nice. Um, and I had my phone out. So nice. Well, we'll I'll, I'll look at that and everybody will have seen it already by now. Yeah, but, um, that's awesome. Yeah. So, so my goal this year is to, since Jacob didn't want to do it cause he's uh -huh. so busy, he's traveling yeah. all over the place right now. Yeah. He got a house uh, recently. I don't know if did you know he? that. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I think they just closed like a week and a half ago. Good maybe, for maybe them. Holy yeah, crap. Yeah. Very excited. Good job, Jacob. Yeah. Good job, right. Jake. Good job, Jacob. Right. Um, but so I was like, I have a flexible schedule because of my work mm -hmm. and I was like, I'm going to try to catch everybody and, and see everybody and do it in person. That way yeah. we can connect with people. Yeah, that's awesome. We're in year five, year five. of Party Room Film Festival. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it's been going on this long. Yeah. And a little wild. When, when, I, when I did the interview with Tanner earlier, I realized, holy crap, I've known these guys now for 10 years. Mm -hmm. Most of them at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, well, when did you get in at Asbury? I got in at Asbury in the fall. I, I transferred fall in, in the fall 2013. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. So, yeah, and, yeah. and that was when like Sam, Andrew uh -huh. King, yeah. um, though he wasn't on nerd that year. Um, Mitch, yeah. Tanner mm -hmm. were all on nerd right then. And then yeah. the following years when yeah. like Sam or, or Zach and Paul and Josiah mm -hmm. yeah. came into the hall. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. But, isn't it? 10 years. Holy crap. It's a long time. And we've been doing party room now for almost for, half, for of, half that. of that. That's wild. That's crazy. So, it's really exciting to, to catch back up with people. Yeah, absolutely. So beyond party room film festival, we'll uh -huh. start here. Okay. How is life for Trevor Smith? Life's been good, man. Yeah. It's been, been really good. Uh, what do I do these days? I've been helping, uh, coach the ultimate Frisbee team for Asbury. Yeah. You were talking about I that was, 
earlier today when yeah. I got back. How's that going? You're doing that with Paul, right? Yeah, yeah. Paul is the coach. I'm the assistant to the regional coach. Amazing. Um, <laughs> do you have a Do you have a t-shirt that says that? No, you I don't have one. any t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything at all. Um, no, we had a tournament today that was a lot of fun, um, and it was really exhausting running back and forth on the field, yeah. watching the players play. Um, but they're doing really well. Um, we were super excited with how they played in the tournaments. That was Good. awesome. Um, Good. So how do you how do you coach? A game like Ultimate Frisbee. Are there pos- like like yeah. I only played like casually. Yeah, like right? and, and I, I was on the intermural yeah, team playing, with you one yeah. year. But like in in like more structure. Yeah. Is there like positions? So there are. Um, it's it's a little bit more probably reminiscent of like uh, maybe like basketball or like people okay. there are people that have like their strengths and so you put them in positions Where to utilize their strengths back, right? right so like if you're a center you're probably not going to be sitting at the top of the arc trying to shoot threes i mean they do that sometimes now yeah. but we're going to put you like so the big tall guys we put them usually on like wings they okay. would be so they're trying to stretch the field vertically yeah and even if they're not getting the disc they're pulling their defenders away to then open the lanes up in the middle of the field okay that makes sense you've got generally like the quicker guys popping back and forth in the middle yeah and then you'll have two to three handlers to kind of shift the disc around and move it up the field almost like a quarterback that's like right right except there's like two or three quarterbacks yes um so and that's like there's a lot of different formations as well so there's like there's like a we generally play an h stack or a horizontal stack you can also do a vertical stack and there's some lots of other formations as yeah. well um but so those are kind of the positions but they kind of float around a little bit okay. and then they switch for defense as well right so like uh, if you're doing man then everyone just guards whoever they're on yeah um but sometimes you'll play a zone so you have like a piece of the field and yeah, so you're trying like, to make sure that you're right. you're guarding that area exactly that so that's yeah. really cool yeah, yeah so and usually like when they're playing it's not like I'm telling them too much on the field. You know, sometimes it's like, come up, come up, come up, or, you know, come back, you know, like kind of helping them float around into their spaces. Yeah. Or if uh, someone's running deep, you're calling to make sure that no, someone knows to pick them up, things yeah. like that. You're, or um, well, it's funny, one of the biggest things, that, and it sounds so silly, is every time when you're on defense, when the other team throws, you just yell up. Because okay. as a defender, if you're watching your guy really closely, sometimes you're you not, don't know when not, the disc is up. Gotcha. And so it's sense. just really helpful to know, like, the disc is, the in, disc the is air. in the air. It's, it's live. Exactly. It's coming, so, like, someone's it, direction. it might be coming to me, but you, you can kind of, like, peek and, and see. But, but, yeah, so there's a lot of things. And then a lot of it is actually probably more coaching the guys off the field. So, yeah, like, when they, when they come off talking about like hey this is what happened this is what didn't happen this is what we need to happen yeah kind of and like then that. also probably like you got you're watching more of the other team and stuff like that and so you're, you're right. getting a gauge for like okay this is how they're playing right right and yeah. here's how we can and, and like they're like college kids you know they're adults yeah. right so like they can run pretty well and a lot of the guys have been playing a long time yeah. not a lot some of them have been playing a long time so they're pretty good at at like marking up on the field and making sure they have their everything kind of covered but um it's been really enjoyable paul yeah. and i have liked it and with pardon me, with both of us there, it means neither of us have to <laughs> be there all the time. <laughs> yeah, because we're kind of busy. But yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Mm-hmm. And then you, you're now a full on doctor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How's that? I it's doctor. been great. Yeah, yeah. So I work at a practice like five minutes from here. That's so, awesome. Yeah, it's super nice. Uh, I only work four days a week, which is great. <laughs> uh, can't can't yeah. ask for much more yeah. than that. Yeah, and I love the like the just the place I work. It's so good. There's lots of staff. Um, I've worked some places that are pretty stinky, so it's nice to yeah. nice to be working in a place that I really like. So that's awesome. That's been really good, good for you, yeah. buddy. Yeah, thanks. Um, what kind of thing do you do during the day as an eye doctor? Um, eye exams mainly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, so I uh, I have <laughs> um, I see patients. So my schedule is like from eight thirty till four, mm-hmm. um, and then I have like an hour lunch break. And on the 30 minutes, it's just full eye exams. So people coming in saying, I want my yearly eye exam, yep. glasses, prescription, stuff like that. And on the quarters, so like 15 and 45, those are like reserved slots for emergencies. Emergency okay. is generally a broad term just for not comprehensive eye exams. Okay. So it might be, hey, we want to see you back in one week and see how your contacts are fitting. It, oh, okay. it yeah, might yeah. be, I got stabbed in the eye and I need to come in right now. It <laughs> might, you know, and anything yeah. in between, right? Yeah. So sometimes what's the, what's the craziest thing without like violating any kind of HIPAA or anything yeah. like that, that you've seen on one of those emergency things. The craziest thing, um, 
That's a that's a, f- a loaded question. Like the thing, the normal thing that I see that's like emergency. I want to come in right now is uh, it's like foreign body removals, right? Okay, so it's like people sense. getting stuff in their yeah, eye, you which know? sucks. Yeah. Um, the one of the worst ones that I've seen. I don't know if I'd say it's crazy, but like it. The problem is if you get metal in your eye. Metal rusts, yeah. right? So, like, if you throw metal in a bucket of water, it'll rust really quickly, and the water will get really gross. Yeah. Um, and it is the same thing in your eye. Yeah. And so it doesn't take very long at all for metal to rust in your eye. Yeah, because, I mean, because it's, I mean, acidity and, and like, salt makes... Well, right, rust right. happens so, faster. So, like, yeah. yeah. So, what what happens is you get it in your eye, and the problem is it'll be like somebody's working on their car Friday night, right? And they get something that falls and it gets them in the eye. Yeah. And they say, "I'll see how it feels tomorrow morning," right? Ooh. And then Saturday morning, they're like, "Hey, my eye really hurts, and nothing's open on the weekend." Yeah. So then they're like, "Well, I'll just go on Monday." And so then they come in Monday and they've had this piece of metal that's been lodged in their eye for two and a half days. And by the time I see it, there's a big, deep rust ring. And and every time they blink, it's pushing that metal a little further into their eye. Yeah. So then sometimes there'll be like a... um, Almost like a little, uh, like a plug mm-hmm. of like mucus on yeah. top that I have to like scrape this plug of mucus off and then try and pop out the piece of metal. But then that's the easy part. Once yeah. that's done, you have this rust ring that's formed in their cornea and it won't go away. Oh, okay. So what and I the cor- cornea is the white part of your eye, right? No, the no. cornea is the clear surface of okay, the eye. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. where you put contacts on. Yeah. And the reason that your cornea is clear is because it's like very, very particularly aligned the cell layers okay um and so anything in that causes lots of opacities and blurs your vision a ton yeah. so like these rust rings and so what i have is it's a it's a little um i say it's a drill that's a really really br- like ambitious term for it okay it's essentially a needle like a like a threading needle okay um but it has it comes to a flat point and it spins Okay, so so it's, it, it's like a flat drill. Exactly, yeah. but it's teeny, 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 yeah. tiny. Um, you can call it like an ophthalmic burr as well. And okay. so then I have to like numb your eye, and I have to scrape away all the rust ring. Oh, that sounds awful. And it's miserable for everyone involved because no matter how many numbing drops I put in, if I take a drill and I go, and literally this is what it sounds like. You go, like a dentist drill, right? And I, yeah, and I'm pulling it into your eye and you're like, like, and, and the thing is like, normally if I'm doing something in someone's eye, I tell them to look away because if you're looking over here, I can do whatever I want over here. And it's not going to bother you as much. Right. Yeah. But the problem is it's right in the center of your eye. So you have to look at me while I'm doing it. And so there was one guy that that was pretty much what happened to him. And, and so you, you do as much as you can, but the problem is too, if you drill in too far, then, then you can poke through the cornea, and then fluid starts leaking out of the eye, and that's a whole different problem yeah. entirely. So, like for those, gen- like I had to like dig in pretty deep to try and get as much of the rust ring out as I could, without feeling like I was pushing too far in, and I had to stop because I was like, I don't feel comfortable going any further without risking like perforating your cornea. Yeah. So then I had to bring him back in a week and do it again. Like I had to wait for the rust to, to kind of like come forward out, yeah. for me to clean it again. And so it's just a miserable experience yeah, for everyone. Awful. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm you're, you're making me definitely like <laughs> be sure that like next time I'm doing anything on my car or yeah. anything safety like that. Goggles like are safety nice. glasses are yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Certainly. But yeah, so that's, I don't know that that's the craziest thing, but that's the I mean, first that, thing that comes off that the seems top of crazy my mind. To me. I yeah. mean, like, like, I mean, if somebody gets like, I don't know, shoots a nail gun through their eye, they're going to go to the hospital. They're not probably right. not going to go right. to Right. Well, if you come to me, I'm going to send you to the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> so like, yeah, but, but yeah, that's yeah, kind of That wild. sounds awful. Yeah. It's pretty miserable. Oh. Yeah. That's cool though. That yeah, you, you know yeah, how to do that. Yeah. And, it's, and, it's and you're there neat, helping you know? people yeah, get rest rings out of their eyeballs. like, I always, uh... Uh, joke is maybe a strong word, but like I, I, there's never a more happy patient than somebody that comes in with an emergency yeah. and you like get it taken care of, Oh, you yeah. know, they'll, if, you know, especially if it's like after hours, right. If, yeah. if it's uh, cause we have an on call at our practice and if, okay. if you come and take care of somebody that's in immense pain after hours, they're going to come see you forever, right? Yeah. Because oh, like yeah. they were in, in a crisis and you fixed and you their problem. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. So they're at least usually very, very happy patients. Yeah. Even if 
the experience is unpleasant. They're just so thrilled that you helped them. So yeah. Yeah. The, the worst thing I've ever had happen to my eyes is I remember like I was, I don't know, high school mm -hmm. and I was walking like along, um, my grandparents had a farm at the time mm -hmm. and I was walking along and like a, like a big, like a big gnat. Okay. Just like yeah. kamikaze right into my yeah. eyeball and got stuck under my eyelid. Yeah. Um, and that like was awful. Yeah. It's miserable. But, oh, it sucks. Yeah. It, it hurts. It itches and mm -hmm. like, you can't get rid of it. Yeah. Um, and, but like, I'm glad like it, it came out I can't right. imagine like what would happen if you left it a bug in stuck. your eyeball yeah. for yeah, it's like stuck three in days. There. Yeah. 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 There's all kinds of weird stories of things people get in their eyes. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. yeah. But awesome. yeah, it's been very good. I, good. I like it. So good. I'm proud of you. You went through a lot thank to you, thank become you. a doctor. And it's been a long journey. Yeah. A long journey from uh, misnaming salamanders. Misnaming salamanders. That's right. Yeah. Uh, you're one misnaming the two, southern two-line salamander. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so that makes me think of, uh, what did you think of uh, the attack ad? The attack that ad. aired yeah. uh, Party Room last year. Against uh, you joining the council. Dude, I loved it. It was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> it was perfect. It's funny. Uh, Callie showed the attack ad to her dad. Really? Like her parents. And her dad thought it was the funniest thing he'd ever <laughs> seen. He was like, I don't know what's going on, but this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. I, I love I love hearing about people getting like a taste of the Party Room Film Festival, uh -huh. like completely out of context. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like Absolutely. That. Um, like Andrew talking about sharing, I think, pegged with... Uh, some guy from his church or something. Yeah, yeah, um, I think he was telling about that as well. Yeah, yeah they and, loved and it. It's just hilarious that yeah. like people see different things like that. Um, but yeah, so five years going mm -hmm. into year five of Party Room Film year Festival. Five. Yeah, uh, tell me a little bit about the inspiration for uh, your film this year. Yes, uh, Le Plombier. Le Plombier. Le Plombier. Um, yeah, so I wanted to do something that I had not done before. Yep. Granted, uh, that's pretty easy for me to do because I didn't make, you know, 20 films a semester at Asbury. So pretty yeah. much everything is something I haven't yeah. done before. Um, but I, the main thing that I thought would be funny would be to, um, like write a song. Cause I was like, okay. nobody, nobody would expect me to like make music because I'm very not musically talented yeah. in, in almost any way. Uh, when I was in high school, uh, there was like a ministry team that mm -hmm. I was on and uh, they did like singing and it was like a band and stuff like that. And they wanted me on the team for like, like leadership purposes. Okay. But they were like, but he's so bad at singing. Like how we can't give this guy a microphone. Um, and so they taught me how to play bass because they really? didn't okay. want me to sing. Yeah. Yep. Now granted, like, you could also go without bass. Like like most bands just don't even have Yeah, there's a, a lot bass. of bands that go, go yeah. without and, bass. You know, I don't want to you know, discount good bassists because yep. someone that is very good at it can add a lot. Yep. But that was not me. I was over there just plucking like G, A, E, B. Like it was... Just, just like the most basic the, of basic As basic as it gets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyways, I'm very not musically inclined. And uh, I just thought it would be funny to write a song and like make it. Uh, and that was pretty much the whole idea. Like to start with, I just wanted to make a song. Um, and then, uh, thinking about like the anime theme that we yeah. went with this year, even though it wasn't necessarily an anime theme, right. It was like the anime tropes. Yeah. Yeah. More than an anime inspired tropes was the theme. Right. Of the, the right. Festival. Um, and, and so I got, I got the, I I got the golden goose of anime tropes. I can't. What was yours? Uh, it was. Um, what oh, was, what was uh, the official name of it? Questionable camera angles. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah questionable camera angles, um, which, as an anime watcher, is is quite an interesting yep. one a, to get. A, a very interesting one, especially with the like. Uh, Christian Minecraft server rule. Right, right. Yeah. So I didn't really. Uh, I, I thought of a lot of different things that I could do. I. Uh, <laughs> I, I remember I sent Andrew a couple like that. I was like, Oh, well, should I do this? And uh, obviously the answer is like, absolutely no. Right. You know, <laughs> like an astounding no. Um, but in my mind, I had like this shot that I wanted. Yeah. Um, and the shot was like of the main character, like walking away and then the camera coming up and going in between his legs and getting like, I mean, essentially the like upskirt shots yeah. 
that I did with Zach. Yeah, right. Yeah. That was which the was, shot. Which was fantastic. The, yeah, the, the thank, shot right at the end. You, it was great. Sam, Sam and I watched it this morning. Okay. Um, so that I, I could remember it well enough to, to talk to you today. <laughs> yeah. So, but that was like the shot that I wanted, mm-hmm. um, just because it's such a silly shot that like yeah. can actually look kind of cool. Um, and then that was where I like kind of started. Was I was like, okay. I want to make a song, and I want this shot in the film somehow. Mm-hmm. Um, and when was that that we got the script stuff? Uh, we got the we would have gotten the information. It was right about my birthday, so the end of May. Okay, I want to say that at that time I was uh, I had already watched through um, this, the anime Vinland Saga. Okay, and uh, I told Callie I was like, "This is good. You should watch it." Um, but she won't watch it if I don't watch it with her. So, <laughs> so I, I essentially will watch it. I sift through all the garbage, yep. and then she gets to watch the good ones. Yep, that's pretty much how. Like, yeah. like, I'll, 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 like if it's something that I think Heather will really like, yeah. I'll usually like I'll watch the first ep- episode or two, and then be yeah. like, okay, this is one she would really like. And so I don't watch it. Yeah. But then the thing is, I do that with so many that now we have like a backlog. So there's right. a ton of anime that I like Vinland Saga right. that I really want to watch, yeah. but I haven't watched yet because Heather hasn't watched it. Right, <laughs> right. When the other and, and the worst is when it, when it's like so. Um, did you watch uh, Zom One Hundred? Zom One Hundred is great. We yeah. haven't finished it yeah. yet, okay. but we caught up to when they went on hiatus. So we're like not caught up at all. Okay. I watched the first one. And I was like, this is pretty funny. I think Callie will like it. And uh, so I showed it to her, and she's like, Yeah, this is good. I want to watch it with you. And I'm like, Okay, but that means we have to watch it. Like, cause otherwise it means that I'm just not watching the show that I want to watch yep. because you didn't get around to it, yeah. um, which is, we're like four episodes in and I'm like, are we getting back to this at some point? She's like, yeah, I want to watch it. And I'm like, right. But like when, when, <laughs> cause I want to watch it and I just can't watch it now. So no, um, I understand that entirely. Heather, Heather and I, um, have been on hold with Jujutsu Kaisen okay. for like s- basically since the like first arc of the second season okay. finished yeah. because Heather's like, I know people are going to die and I don't want to watch people die because uh, I like uh, all these characters. I see. I see. <laughs> and so we're like, come on, we got, we got to get through it at some point. Spoilers. People do die. <laughs> people do die. No, I, I, I know. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I unfortunately have had a lot of it spoiled for yeah, me. Yeah. Um, but like, I'm also really excited because it's like, it's, yeah. it's epic. It's it so is. cool. Yeah. 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 Certainly. Um, but yeah, so anyways, so I was rewatching Vinland Saga yep. at the time and I really like the intro for that okay. show. Um, also because like I'd kind of joke a little bit, but like a lot of anime intros, I feel like you get like, like 30% of the entire story yeah, that, in that, the intro. Yeah. Like you could probably fill in the gaps and guess what kind of what happens of a lot of them, yeah. of a lot of them just because there's like, Oh, there's that. And there's that. And there's that. And like, you can kind of like piece pieces of it together. Es- especially now Vinland saga and saga saga is not really particularly tropey or stereotypical. No, it's not, but like uh, if, if like any stereotypical, like shown in anime, yeah. like you'll get, Right. You could watch just the OP and be like, yeah, I know what's going on. Exactly. Yeah. And so it's pretty good, at least for the first season of yep. like, you kind of have an idea of like what's happening with like the main character and like you have an idea of he's got a dad and then you're like, well, the kid's sad. And so like, you know, the dad's not there anymore. And there's and the, the bad guy. Yeah. And then there's yeah. bad guys and then he's with the bad guys and he's mad now. It, like, you know what I mean? Like you can kind of like see this progression in yep. it. And so I thought it would be funny to like make an intro okay. that is essentially just like all the these like pieces of yeah. the story that so you're like yeah I, I don't know exactly how we got here but like i can, can kind of piece it together yeah which i think is like funny why like i feel like my movie was like so confusing because like that's kind of what i that's the way it was supposed to be yeah right it was supposed to not be a full story it's just it's supposed, supposed to be, be pieces of like of all the story exactly yeah, yeah. Um, like, like you took you took the book and pulled out like eight pages exactly and that told yeah. most of the story right right and I kind of expected uh, it to be a stinker because most people would watch it and say like I don't know what's happening yeah um, but I didn't really care because I just wanted to make it no I, I thought it, I thought it was fantastic <laughs> uh, it was really funny because so Heather Heather was in it right mm-hmm. and she wasn't expecting to be in it because she didn't know it was happening but right. she went to lunch with like Ellen and everybody all, yeah. all you guys who well were that was it. when you were like hey Heather will be down this weekend if anybody wants yeah. people I was like yeah bring her out over yeah. so 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 she got to do it so she kept sending me texts and pictures of like like just like completely out of context things that you guys were doing um, and so 
I got to see that. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, what is going on? Yeah. <laughs> yep. 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 Certainly. So, but it was really, really fun to see it at the end. And honestly, like, like with, with, with understanding like your, your perspective and understanding what you were going for through mm -hmm. thing, like you absolutely like accomplished that. <laughs> well, thank you. It, it, it has the, the usual, um, Trevor flair, mm -hmm. um, of the, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Area 50 love yeah. award inspired yeah. inspiration. Um, but I, I think you did great. My favorite, my favorite thing is the fact that you, uh, made, I think the tallest person in the party room <laughs> film festival, uh, be the shortest character in yes, your film. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It was funny. Too. I don't actually know if Matt is taller than Paul or not. Um, um but I don't know. Cause like Paul, Matt and I are all like right around six foot. Yeah. I don't know who's taller. I think it depends on who's wearing taller shoes. That's, at the that's day. fair. Yeah. Um, that's fair. But anyways, yeah, it's funny too. Cause like I, I had no, um, when I got to film like day one of filming, yeah. um, I'm sure Heather probably told you this a little bit, but I was like, guys, I'll be honest. Like I didn't plan any of this out. I just yeah. have like three shots that I know I want yeah. and we're just going to start going through them and see where we get. Like that was, that was what I had. I didn't write anything yeah. down. I, I had no plans. Yep. Um, and so a lot of the, even like the, the idea was that Matt was going to be like the child, right? It's yep. funny too. Cause some people have watched it and they're like, Oh, I thought he was like a henchman or something. Like, <laughs> like, like, don't like, like little like Igor from like, exactly, Frankenstein yeah, kind of like thing. we have okay. no idea who Matt is in this. Um, and like in some of it, he's like on his knees with like mushed down shoes, you yep. know, scuttling across the floor. And then for the scene at the end, when they're walking away, he's like just crouch walking, <laughs> yeah, he's just crouch walking because at first I had him trying to do the scuttle, but you just see his legs dragging behind. And I was like, well, that won't work. You, you should have badly like wrapped them in like green fabric. So like you were going to like, green yeah, screen yeah, them yeah, yeah. <laughs> or just, you know, say this is grass. I don't yeah. know, but yeah. So yeah, it was, like I said, I didn't plan much of it. Um, I don't know why, but for some reason, I in my mind, though, I was like, I think Matt should be the child. Just because I wanted Matt to be the child. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Zach being the hero is, I mean, yeah. I feel like Zach is just like inherently like has that like yeah. hero character vibe. Yeah. Uh, when I, I, I wanted Zach specifically for like two reasons. One, because I haven't actually like pretty much ever worked with Zach okay. on a film like at all, I think. Like yeah, even like I mean, I mean, the first several years of part, like you just got back to Lexington, yeah, this, Kentucky this, this last past year, year. Yeah. so yeah, you yeah. would have been hard to collaborate with him. Yeah, and the only thing I had was I had like um, in wet. Okay. He had a um, I had the little like cameo, I guess. Yes. But even so, it wasn't like I I worked with him. Yeah, you, know, you were that. doing that remotely. Um, and so I thought it'd be really fun to work with Zach, uh, but also because he was like the protagonist, and there's going to be no lines. The story is going to be like disjointed and not really make sense. Yep. I wanted the main character to be someone that's very animated yeah. and can kind of like carry by himself. Ha, ha, and, yeah. And so that's what I think of for Zach. You know what I mean? Absolutely. He's, he's a freaking golden retriever. He is. Like, he is. 100%. He, and he did a great job. Too. Oh, he did. Yeah. Absolutely. I do love that um, in the first scene when like he, he's like giving fealty to the, like the... the Sam in the dark chair. Yeah, you chose to uh, green screen in the hat, his, the, the the beanie. Yeah, back on top of his head. Yeah, yeah. So I forgot that he was supposed to wear because it was like I had like three separate outfits to kind of try and show like these are different time frames yeah. a little bit. Um, and um, we shot the stuff outside. I think first with him running with this beanie. Yeah. And then he had taken it off because we did like all three of those like outside. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because I for like that opening shot, like I don't know what the heck I was doing. I just wanted him running through a field, and I wanted to try and kind of like splice it together. Yep. So I was just standing at a piece of the field with the camera on a stick clip, or not a stick, a, uh, like a selfie stick, a selfie stick, and I was just like running with him. Yeah, you know, you can see the shadow. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> And so he like went through his three costume changes and then he didn't put the hat back on. And then we would just went and shot the stuff in okay, the garage. Yeah, yep. And it's funny. Cause I remember Matt was like, Oh, do you want to go reshoot that? Cause he, we didn't have his hat on. I was like, it's fine. He's like, well, but he won't have the hat on. I'm like, it's fine. Well, I'll figure it out. Like it's I'll not, fix it in post. <laughs> yeah, I'm not worried about it. Um, and, um, yeah, I think it looked great. I think you could barely even tell. No, nope, he didn't tell, have a hat tell at all. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely not. So 
do, do, do you, in, in your mind, do you have any sort of like larger understanding of like the story behind Zach's character? No, no, not at all. <laughs> not at all. No, not even a little bit. Um, well, so there were, there were other things I did think about like adding in. Yeah. Um, but also I was a little bit limited because I didn't want to write a very long song. So, so like once the song was done, that was like whatever I had in terms of a song, that was okay. the length of my film. Yep. Uh, and I didn't want it to be very long. <laughs> so, um, there was like, one of the funniest things about my film, I think, um, is that I planned for the hat. I'm not wearing the hat right now. That would, that's what the hat I should have put on. That is the hat. Yeah, yeah. you should put yeah. on. Yeah, I wore it yesterday, though. I wore it yesterday coaching the Asbury team. That's fantastic. With, like, the plunger. Um, but I, in my mind, that was going to be, like, a pivotal part of, it. like, him, like, Kind of like passing things on to his son. Okay. Was he was going to, there was supposed to be, I say supposed to be in the loosest sense possible. <laughs> like in my mind, there was going to be a scene where like he is kind of stepping away from like whatever shady dealings he's, he's been okay. involved yep. in. Um, and then the shady dealings that he has been involved in, even though he has stepped away, like follow him, follow him and, and kill his wife. Yep. And so there was a, supposed to be a moment where like, he like takes his hat off. Like his hat is like part of his like La Plumbier character. Okay. And then there's a point where he like puts it back on to like signify, like it's kind of like the John wick, like breaking the, you know, his floor apart and yep. like pulling the guns out. Yeah, scene, yeah, yeah. Right. Like I'm back in now. Yeah. Um, but that didn't happen at all. And so <laughs> I don't remember how much I spent, but I think those hats were like, they're nice hats. I, I don't have mine yet. Cause Tanner didn't have it as his office. I surprised Tanner. Okay. Um, he lives like two hours from me. Okay. But like, I went up to surprise him. I uh -huh. thought about like giving him a heads up, like, Hey, uh -huh. I'm going to be in your town. Uh -huh. Like, can you grab the hat? But I didn't cause I didn't want to like spoil the surprise or anything. Uh -huh. So he got there. He was like, I have your hat, but I don't have it with me. Well, I, I, like, oh, I have sure. Lander's hat. You can have Lander's hat because okay. I, I don't know when any of us will see Lander's I'm going to try to track down Lander's okay. for the podcast. Okay. Uh, maybe, but I, I can't guarantee that I'm going to find him. Yeah, that's a little up in the air. But you yep. can have Lander's hat in the meantime, and, okay. then, and then Tanner will just have Lander's hat. Yep. Um, but so the they were like, I think I spent like 18 bucks each on 14 hats. That's not... I mean, <laughs> price per hat, that's not terrible, but yeah. Correct. I mean, but you, for, 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 for a for, singular prop <laughs> that I didn't even use. <laughs> it was a nice gift, though, for everyone. Yeah, I was like, very happy to get everyone one because I thought it was fun. Uh, but I did think it was funny that, like, I even, like, held up my, my filming until I got the hats in. Okay. And then the hat was, like, such a minor thing in the film. Is it even in the film at all? It is. Yeah, he's, is he's wearing the hat. He has it, it backwards. That's why. He has it backwards at part of it but like the end scene when it goes like in between his legs and it goes away and then it comes back towards him and it goes towards the hat oh yeah okay. and then yep. maybe i didn't do this maybe this is just what i was thinking that i did but in my mind i was thinking that i like zoomed in on the hat and then i like cut to the then thing. cut to the logo but i don't I actually will, know if i did that or not i'll double check that and, yeah. and i'll throw it in the edit yeah right yeah maybe here. i didn't do it that at all maybe that was just what i wanted to do and <laughs> did I you just completely it. forgot yeah, i have no idea but he is wearing the hat okay. i know that yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's great. Thank you for the gift of the hats. I think that was really cool. You're and, welcome. And really funny. Uh, what is Le Plombier? I'm assuming it's the plumber. The plumber. Yeah. yeah in French. Yeah. yeah. So um, the reason for Le Plombier, two, two reasons actually. Okay. So one is um, Mitch was my assigned actor. Okay. And it sounds a little bit like Le Piège. <laughs> <laughs> so that was one. And so I did want Mitch to have a more prominent role in it. it he, he's the only, he's just dead, right? He is just dead. Yeah, he's just And it's Paul actually yeah, he's dead. Exactly because yeah. um I couldn't uh we just couldn't get our schedules to link up. Yeah. Uh and he did have a baby. I mean, yeah, you know? he had a baby last year, yeah. like, of course. Um, and so I wanted him in it a little bit more, but that couldn't happen. Yep. So then um Anyways, I'll get to that later, I suppose. But but the other reason why it was Le Plombier was because so and like so my like theory for this was like a little combination of like John Wick plus like Vinland Saga. Okay. Yeah. Okay? And um, 
I like how in John Wick, they don't just call him the boogeyman because the boogeyman man sounds dumb. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. you, yeah. you're just not like, oh, he's the boogeyman. Like, okay, that sounds. Yeah. Silly. That, yeah. You, right. you can't. You can't say that without sounding kind of silly. Right. You can't say that in a serious like mob kind of exactly. setting. Exactly. So what? It what are they, they call him? What? Like the Baba Yaga or uh, not the Baba I can't, Yaga? I've only I've only seen the first John Wick, and I saw it like a while ago. I need to catch up on the John Wick movies. The Baba Yaga is something else entirely, isn't it? Yeah. Baba Yaga refers. I mean, isn't that it, a, is, is a is a like a Eastern European. Uh, mythology about a, like a woman that lives in a house that walks. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The walking uh. house. Uh, what what do they call him? Do you know what they He's, call what him? What do Heather? they call what do they call John Wick in when they when like the boogeyman? But they call him. It's like in something else. Uh, <laughs> it's been minutes since I've uh, seen. I know. Same. It wouldn't be Bobby Yaga. No, I know, but it's something that sounds uh, like that. Hold on, I'm just because now I'm looking at it. I want to say what. Um, Um, I know. Um, it is Baba Yaga. Is it Baba Yaga? It is. Yeah, it, but it's in Russian, so it's a, oh, it means something okay. else in Russian. Okay, so I'm not crazy. That's good. Um, but yeah, so they call him the Baba Yaga. But yeah. it, but uh it like sounds way cooler. Which, in, which I mean like Baba Yaga like is basically like the Russian boogeyman. boogeyman. Right. Uh. So but so they call him so he's like they call him the Baba Yaga anyways. And so I was like it'd be funny to say The Baba Yaga. Yeah. <laughs> to have his name be something in a different language that sounds cooler than just calling him the plumber. The plumber, yeah. So I went because right, are we referring to Mario then if he's just the plumber? Maybe so, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so then I went through google translate and i clicked every single option that was like um characters i could read okay there wasn't like some other other written language entirely. exactly yeah. yeah so and um le plumbier was the one that sounded the coolest cool so I'm, that's I'm, what I'm gonna i'm with. gonna go through it and look at that just because i'm curious like what the other options yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah tell sure me if Ger you find one that seems cooler i wonder what german was <laughs> i don't know we probably could find out yeah. we have the technology we do i can do it right now while we while we sit here, yeah. Okay, so 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 that was one reason you said there were more than one reason. Well, the other one reason was just because it sounds like Le Piège. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. so so you wanted something that's cooler than the plumber, but you also wanted it to sound like Le Page, because Mitch was your actor. Exactly. That that's that's hilarious. And then and then he was in it very very yep, minor. just as a dead dead body a that dead doesn't body. look anything like the dead body that was there. Like <laughs> yeah, I don't know ago. what it was in Russian because it was letters that I, it didn't look like a word. Yeah, I can't read that. Like, I mean, I can see what it says. Uh, this is Russian I did. Yeah, I don't know what that is. What, what is it in German? Klimpna. <laughs> yeah. Klimpna. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound very intimidating. <laughs> so, uh, French was French was what we went with. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it turned out really well. Yeah. Yeah, I was happy. <laughs> out of curiosity. So, so Heather was talking to Ellen yesterday. Um, and Ellen was surprised to see that she was on the poster. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> what, yeah. what, what made you decide to put Ellen on the poster of Le <laughs> well, When we were filming that part, because uh, I was just like, yeah, everybody get in here and pretend like you're fighting, and I'll just put you around in the grass and make everyone look like they're fighting. Yep. Um, Most people oh, just their torso. <laughs> yeah, yeah, more or less of some people, you know. Um <laughs> There was what did what did we say? There was something about like that clip that was just so yeah. funny about Ellen fighting. It, it was it was Ellen's like kung fu like, yeah. style, and somebody made the throwaway comment that you know it would be great if you just because the anime trope is like you put somebody on the poster uh -huh. that has basically nothing to do with right. the story. Right. Oh, just, okay. You know, right. Yeah. And so then I did. <laughs> So I did. <laughs> Perfect. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I do apologize that I never asked your permission. I just put that on there. Thinking about it after the fact, I probably should have. But I assumed you were a good sport, yeah, you know? Yeah. And, and you might have even been happier not knowing the surprise factor that you were the, the poster, you know? If I had known, I would have been like just waiting for it right yeah yes, yes. yeah it, it's way better not yeah, yeah good, good. <laughs> did you feel honored oh yeah yeah <laughs> i'm glad i'm glad 
That 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 is really funny though. Yeah. So, like, you had a pretty big cast too. You had one of the larger. I did. Casts I did. Of, I had. I had like a lot of people. people. Yeah. Not as many significant roles, but I right, mean, right. Yeah, I told pretty much anybody that could come, like, just come on down. I'll find something for you to do. Good crafty too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that's what uh, Heather and Ellen were talking saying last night, that you, you had very good food on set. Yes, for part yes. Of well, not on set, really, but we did go get food afterward, or midway through. Yeah. Perfect. Went to Firehouse. Oh, Firehouse is great. It's delectable. All right, so speaking of Firehouse, what is your, like, ranking of, like, sandwich places or, like, sub places? Mm, that's a good question. Like, where do we draw the line? Like, is anything like a sandwich place or are we, I'd say if, if their primary like delivery is like on a sub roll. Okay. It counts. Okay. So like Char Charlie's cheese steaks, um, like subway, Mike, subway, Mike's, Quiznos, Quiznos, et cetera. Probably, I mean like obviously Chick-fil-A, Burger King, et cetera. Is do like not a burger count. Place. Sure. Count. Um, that's a good question. I think, uh, Quiznos is not very good. I, I used to like Quiznos I a lot. I did too, and I, I don't like. Anymore. There's none around me anymore. Yeah, um, I think that Jimmy John's is pretty good. So I'm. I, I think that I'm probably not a good person to ask for ranking them because I'm. I'm kind of picky. Okay. And so I well, like that might make you the perfect person to ask. No, no, because not no, it, it wouldn't. <laughs> it wouldn't. So like essentially, what you're asking me is like I'm a guy that only this isn't true. This is not true. But uh, like the premise is like if I only like peanut butter cookies, and then you tell me to like rank all the cookie companies. That's fair. I'm okay. just ranking the peanut butter cookies. Gotcha. Yeah. But that's not really a good representation because, like, the... Toll House, it's like their chocolate chip cookie. Like, they probably don't care. They don't think anybody eats their peanut butter cookies. Yep. You know. So, like, I specifically, um, I like Firehouse because they have like um, the the one that I get is the um, Smokehouse brisket cheddar oh, okay. brisket. Yep. Like, yep. I like brisket. Yeah. And like pretty much none of these other places may have like a brisket barbecue, like a barbecue brisket, yeah. you know, sandwich. Um, so then I'm like mixed. I'm saying like, okay, at, at firehouse, I like their smokehouse beef and cheddar brisket. And at subway, I get this like Italiano sub yep. that's pretty tasty. Um, and then when I go to, uh, like Jimmy John's, I just get like a turkey and cheese cause they've only got like three sandwiches. I feel like, uh, so, so, like, so basically like you have a favorite sa sandwich at each of these places right? and right. when you want that kind of sandwich you'll right, go to that right. place but i would probably prefer firehouse over the others but it's just because i like the sandwich that i get there better than the sandwich i get other places that, i mean that's not a bad way to yeah. go about it yeah so i really dodged your question i'm not gonna rank them because i just like the sandwich i just like firehouse sandwich beef and cheddar brisket better than the yeah. others Honestly, I, I think I've, I think that's the the one sandwich I have had from Firehouse, mm -hmm. and it is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Like the barbecue and cheddar, like goes really really well together. Yeah, and it just tastes yeah. great. Yeah, big fan, big fan. But if you warm it up after the fact, I usually like warm it up in like the oven. Okay. Um, you have to put more barbecue sauce on. That makes sense. It dry out a because it dries out a little bit. So yep. you gotta gotta have a little bit of reserve barbecue sauce. Yeah. So after that little tangent, getting back to. Party Room. Yeah. What was your favorite film from Party Room 4? Uh, okay. Uh, before I answer the question, I'm going to talk about something that I think is interesting that um, Andrew... It was an analytic that Andrew did not put forth Okay. from the analytics of everyone's films, top yep. or favorite films. Yeah. Um, and Thank I, you, Andrew, for doing that, by yeah, the way. Absolutely. I, I know that wasn't like an insignificant yeah. amount of work to put that yeah. together. So, so I do want to say that I put my list together in like 10 minutes because he was just waiting on me. Okay. And had I taken more time, I think my list probably would have been different because okay. there are absolutely films I forgot existed. <laughs> and so they didn't make my list because I was just putting together the list. I assumed he was going to just compile a master list. Okay. Not like... Here's what Trevor liked. Because there are definitely <laughs> films that I'm like, oh, I should have put that on there. Now, now they're going to think I hated their film. But like, no. it's just because I forgot because yeah, I put yeah, it yeah. in so quickly. But um, the thing that I would want to – would be very interested because he does have the data for um, who submitted what okay. is how people vote for films that they were in. 
Oh, okay, yeah, that is an analytic be- because that would take a lot more to. It would. It would be. It's a lot more involved. Yeah. But I, I feel like people are much more inclined to vote for films that they were involved in. I, I think because, that's probably because true. there's there's part of it that you're like you're watching the film and you're remembering the fun time you had filming. That makes a lot of and sense. And so there's like yep. this added you you have this little extra connection to the film, mm-hmm. and so you're invested in it. Yeah, and so I loved Tick Tick. But obviously, like, Tick Tick uh, was literally in my house, and it was just Callie and I doing the whole thing. You know, so, like... I loved Tick Tick, too. I thought Tick Tick was very good. Um, Which is why I hid in your trunk. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was inspired by Tick Tick. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I really liked Tick Tick. Um, but I do think part of that was biased because... I you were in was it. in all of the filming for yeah. Tick Tick. So, yeah. Yeah. Your, your wife is such a good sport, by the way. Yeah. Like, yeah. like <laughs> She's I, I messaged her randomly. I, so, so we were supposed to come back, come down two weeks ago. Okay. Um, but then Ellen got sick and okay. I got sick like that same weekend that uh-huh. we were going to come down. And so it got pushed back. A bit. Okay. So I was talking to Callie like two weeks ago gotcha. uh, okay. and, and we were going to come down and do the, basically the same thing yeah, that we yeah. just did. Um, and then hang out for like, like the lions game mm-hmm. uh, later. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so she's she's a great sport for being like, oh yeah, you can like climb into my trunk and, That's and awesome. surprise yeah. Trevor. Yeah, um, and then also like she's such a good sport of being a part of um, Le Plombier yeah. as one of the like random fighters, and then Tick Tick. Was she? Oh, she was. She, she was. was right. yeah. She was. Yeah. Um, and then Tick Tick being yeah. murderous yeah. wife. Murderous <laughs> wife. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. We don't know. It's up in the air. Yeah, I won't give too many things away because. You'll probably still get to Levi for that one, but that one was a yep. ton of fun to film. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looked like it was a lot of fun. You 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 did a great job. Um, who's doing? I can't remember who's doing the. Did Levi sing it or did Jacob? Uh, sing Jacob it? did. Jacob sang it. Okay. Jacob did, and Levi both did. But I think Jacob okay. did most of it, um, and then Levi changed some of it because they came down. I'm not gonna get. Into, I'll I'll leave that for Levi. <laughs> I mean, you can you can tell <laughs> but, me a little bit. I'll, but like, I'll, well, we'll go they like. Detail. He and Jacob worked on the song um, like one day. They okay. like made it all, and then he like made some changes later that he added in. I believe. Gotcha. But, okay. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was a lot of fun. Like you guys yeah. did a great job. Yeah. I, I loved that one a lot. That that was one that was definitely down to the wire for submission on time. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to talk to Levi about that because he yeah. like that that like that opening scene where he crashes his bicycle. Like <laughs> he full sends that crash. It looks like it hurt. Did you see the scene for it? It's just the like the the open lot up the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's where it was. Yeah, that was a, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, and I'll I'll leave a lot of that for him. I don't want to no spoilies. Yeah. But uh, that was a ton of fun. So 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 we we, we got off topic a little yeah. bit on Tick Tick. Is Tick Tick your favorite movie? Yeah, from favorite from last year. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you think of? Um, Everybody else's film. Like, what what else did you like from the past year? What did you think of the festival in general this year? I thought it was great. Um, because uh, you have come here unannounced to my house, <laughs> I didn't prepare for this, so I I now I'm gonna struggle to name them all off the top of my head. Um, but uh, they were so good. I, I do like the some of the analytics that Andrew came out with, though. So um, cool. Because I I think uh, I was talking with with Levi about this that. A lot of us, it seemed like the consensus was that the films in year four mm-hmm. were better than years, the previous years. But there's from, some, a, from a production quality right. standpoint, yeah. But we all liked year three better. Like, like, the, like everyone kind of remembers, I think, year three mildly, like just the films more fondly yeah. than, than year four. Uh, and, and I think that part of that is like... Uh, that like there's this like silliness that like we started off not knowing what we were doing at all like the first year. Yep. And then the second year we're like, okay, well we can amp this up. Yeah. And then the third year we're like, we can amp it up more. And then the fourth year, I think a lot of us took steps um, towards good films and less like silly films. Okay, that's fair. And so, uh, like, personally, I'm a big, big fan of silly film. So, yeah. so like, I like the silliness more so. Um, so, not to say that I didn't like the films this year, because they were all incredible. But, mm-hmm. you know, like, that was just my thought on the, the year three or four that, you know, we were discussing that in the Discord. I, I, I'm also curious if, like, some of it is, like, when, when, when he sent out that survey, odds are pretty good that, like, I know for me, I'd only seen part of, like, the... 
your four films once and that was mm-hmm. like the day of the festival sure whereas yeah. like i know i've watched a number of year, year three, three films yeah. like a number of times because yeah. i've either hung out with yeah. like sam or yeah, yeah. or something and so like we've been yeah. talking about those films now for for like a, a full year mm-hmm. when when he sent that out whereas yeah. we haven't talked as much about like the year four films that but makes like sense. watching some of them again i was like yeah no these are these are great yeah yeah <laughs> um but then, I mean, it's tough because, cause, I mean, my girlfriend is a screen's an absolute banger. An absolute banger. You know? Uh, just so, just dark horse. Nobody, like like no Levi's one first year, knew what nobody to knew what to expect. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. he just comes out swinging. On Spotify now. You yep. know, it's on my playlist. <laughs> that and Carmel Thoughts. Yep. Carmel Thoughts is, is always on, on Heather's playlist. We listened, yeah. we listened to it on the way down here. And <laughs> it, it, actually, it actually gave me an idea for um, surprising him. Yeah. Uh, that I'm not going to say on the podcast, okay. but I'll tell you later. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I think I think that'll be really good. I'm also going to need your help. Okay, perfect. Point, so. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's funny. So Carmel thoughts just to go on a tangent. Uh, when when Levi and I, because he like helped me with the film. Yeah. Or with the the song. Yeah. It's funny too because he helped me with the song, but he didn't know he wasn't here for filming, so, so he, he, he no didn't know any anything. idea yeah, yeah. with the filming. And then pretty much everyone else helped with the filming. But didn't know anything about the song. Yeah. You know? Um, and even, uh, like, when everyone got here, some people were talking and they were like, I was trying to keep it, like, pretty close to the chest. That, yeah. Like, I, I wrote a song for this. And so they were like, oh, you could use this song or you could use this. And I was like, eh, don't worry about it. Like, we'll just start filming stuff. And uh, I remember there was a point where Zach was like, well, we really do need to figure out how long you're going to be so you know what all you have. And I was like... I already have something. Don't worry about it. He's like, okay, all right, that's fine. Um, but so when he was helping me with it and like, we were trying to think of like a name for it, yeah, for yeah. The, the song. And I kept joking with him and I was like, what about like toffee ideas or like, you know, just like all of these, like really, really bad, like caramel thoughts, caramel spin-offs. thoughts like spinoffs. Yeah. That's and hilarious. At, at first, like I said, toffee ideas. And he's like, that's a name. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Yeah, it was good. Though. That's great. That's hilarious. No, Le- Levi, Carmel Thoughts came out and I was so impressed. I was so, so, uh, I was originally, so I used Carmel Thoughts in my film mm-hmm. and I didn't have enough time to like sit down and do it. But because the theme was anime, mm-hmm. I was, I was going to, I, I got him to send me, I talked to him and he, he gave me permission to do it. So I might do it at some point. But, um, I got, he gave me the like lyrics and he gave me, uh, a a version of the song without the lyrics on it. Okay. Um. So it's just the the yeah. like um music track. Sure. N- no yeah. vocals. Um. And I was gonna get like Ellen to s- like like dub the song, okay. but in Japanese. Oh, okay. So it'd be like an anime yeah, opening. Yeah. That would be. That would have been. Um, but sick. I, I didn't have enough time to like yeah. translate yeah, that's it. That's a like, whole lot of work. That's a lot of work to translate yeah. it all. Make it then like sound sound cohesive, good sound yeah. good as a song yeah. and still be like relatively yeah. close to yeah. like a correct translation and then get it recorded yeah. and then like dub it over completely well, just on that topic just because we're still talking about it one of the things so um you know the song the movie your name yes yeah, so obviously all right of course you do. absolutely um, goaded film so i, I think, don't know if you saw it was on my um when we were doing like the top 10 recently in, in the okay, discord i, I put it on I my, that, my top 10 yeah i would put it on my top 10 as yeah. well but one of the coolest things about that film is that so the the band that created the soundtrack yeah um they have an english and a japanese soundtrack for like almost every song in the That's in the so album cool and they sound incredible on both on both like to create a song in one language is, is a challenge and, and then transfer it to a different language and for it to still sound and mean the same thing yep. and like sound incredible is like so impressive. Oh yeah. But, I mean, it's, it's the same kind of thing. Um, like the, the kingdom hearts series was good at that. Mm-hmm. They, they, like the, the theme song for each of like the, the main games, mm-hmm. um, always did that. And like, it's, it's amazing that like kingdom hearts, final fantasy, a lot yeah. of like those Japanese, um, like big ticket games, like have done that yeah. and it like sounds great in both. Yeah. Which yeah. is, like, it's just so, that's a so lot difficult to do. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, 
But no, yeah, I, I love your name. When Heather and I were in Japan for the Olympics, we um, found the staircase in Tokyo. Okay. Uh, and made a point to... to That's it, funny. It's, it's like, it, like, like, because cause so much of Japanese, like, like anime, like, is, they use real life places in mm-hmm. Tokyo and, and yeah. refer, um, image references and stuff like that. Yeah. So we went there and it's, it's really funny because it's like, it's like just in this like little residential area. Yeah. But like you could find it on Google Maps. It's got like a little pin and like That's it talks funny. about the, like being the staircase for your yeah. name. Well, isn't the like, um... I don't know what, but the little like altered place that they go to. Yeah. That's like an actual place too, isn't it? Yeah. That's, that's yeah. a place further south of, uh, yeah. outside Tokyo. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's neat. Yeah. That movie is fantastic. Yeah. Did you see Suzume? Uh, that's I, the one with the doorway that like is same director and writer. I don't think I did see that one. Okay. That no. one's pretty good. Yeah. Heather and I saw it in theaters. Yeah. What a, is it, it's the same director. I saw the one that was a silent voice. Okay. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's a different director. Yeah. Yeah. Ellen and I were memeing about that one the other day. <laughs> um, anyways, I don't know. Kara, we can move yeah. on now. We're really getting off in the weeds. So so going to year five, you said you you did Le Plombe this year mm-hmm. because it was something you wanted to do a song. So you like no mm-hmm. one's going to expect Trevor Smith to do a song. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are you looking forward to for year five? <laughs> um, and what kind of unexpected things can we expect from Trevor Smith? Yeah. Um expect the unexpected (laughs) you know so so i i think it's funny how most maybe not most but a lot of the guys have um like ideas going into party room film festival and i usually have no ideas going into party room film festival and then i create it all just kind of on the fly um but like throughout the year i've joked with callie about this that um it would be funny like i'll have an idea and i'll say oh that'd be a funny party room film festival idea and then we move on, and I don't, I don't even write it down because I don't care. Yep. And so, um, we had joked though that like, what if I, every time throughout the year when I have one of those ideas, if I just write it down, and once I get to fourteen, I just submit that as the prompt for the next year. We all get one of my fourteen, of your, random, 14 random ideas, ideas. <laughs> throughout the year. Um, that would be amazing. Yeah, it would be pretty off the off the walls, but. Um, but so I know I don't really have any plans. Um, uh, hopefully it will be good and funny. That's my plan. Yep. So uh, speaking of your five, mm-hmm. I'm going to bleep this out as I'm talking because okay. I don't want Sam to know this, but I'm going to okay. tell you about. Um, cause, so, so I don't know if you know, but I'm writing Sam's script this year because he lost. A yes, bet. I, yeah. I, I've heard of the bet. So I'm going to tell you what okay. the idea is, yes. but I'm going to bleep out my audio. Okay. And I just want your reaction. Okay, to got it. you. So you can you can know, Ellen. I'm fine with that. You just cannot share this with with, with Sam. Your lips are sealed. So, so Andrew and I have started writing. A okay, but it's set. Okay, and it's um, basically a. I love and it. so the the like ethical dilemma that he has yeah. to deal with yeah. is um, can we can we work um, in there somewhere? I'm sure, we there's got to be a there, way. There's got to be a way to, yeah. to factor that in. Yeah. You know, but yeah, it it, it ends with a. Um, but the, 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 like, it would the be last. it would be a little bit funny to see Sam. <laughs> <laughs> the, like, like that would be a little funny too. That would be really funny. <laughs> um, but the last line of it is like, or like, like right now. Okay. <laughs> That's um, funny. Yeah, so it'll, it'll, it'll be fun. That'll um, be awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. And, and I hope I hope that Sam, like, because he doesn't have to write it, he'll go hard with it. Yeah, And, like, yeah. really try to do it justice. Oh, because, I, th- I think he will. Because yeah. a- Andrew and I have been cracking up about it. Yeah. And we're both like, this could be Golden Dewey worthy. Yeah. If he, if he really goes for yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. That'll be a ton of fun. Yep. Okay. So you've worked with, who have your actors been? You've had, you had Mitch this last year. The year before, I was... It was you. Your yeah. actor, yeah. yeah. Um, then your two, who'd you have? Um, 
what did I do year two? Year two was zombies. Then was it, it Paul? It, it was Stice. Stice, okay. Yeah. And then the first year... Did we? We have, didn't. We didn't we have, didn't have actors. Year, for yeah. Sure, yeah. Yeah. So it was. So you've had it was Stice, Matt, and It was Matt. you, and then it was yeah. uh, Mitchell. Already, Mitchell. Yeah. Perfect. Who would you like to have as your actor this year? That's a good question. Um, I kind of like uh, when it's somebody that like I probably wouldn't have normally put in my film. That's true. Yeah. You know, because like we don't really link up our schedules all that much, you know? So, you know what I mean? Like we just don't see each other that much. Yeah. And so like, I, I did love how in my film, well, not this past year, the year before with yeah. you in it, like the, you sent me that clip and I had no idea what to do with it. So I just stripped the audio from it. Yeah. And then, uh, and then the Paul uses the, the same clip, clip you know, the, and just it. put you in Zach's, uh, Zach's living room, you know? Yeah. Um, so I don't know that necessarily I have a person I would want to be my actor, but I suppose I would want it to be someone that I probably wouldn't normally link up with to make my film. So That's probably cool. not Paul. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. That'll, yeah. that'll be fun. Um, yeah. What, what are, do you have any ideas that you'd like to submit to the council for year five's rules? Are you going to try to get on the council again um, this year? Hey, we're, we're always running for council. I've, I've submitted some, some banger ideas for themes. Okay. And, and I don't want to... I don't want to put them out there because I think that they're good enough to actually do. Okay. Um, so we'll just, we'll just see how that plays off. But, but I do have a couple that I think would be really, really fun to do. Yeah. I'm, I'm so excited for this year. It's the fifth year. We've known each other now for five, for 10 years. Mm -hmm. We've been doing this for almost five. Yeah. Like how long do you think this is going to last? That's a tough question. Like I, and I suppose like, oh, what do we mean by like last? Cause I do think we're going to teeter out a little bit. Right? I think at some point, like it's just inevitable, right? People are having kids and settling down and you yep. know, like we're just like not, we're more busy than we used to be, mm -hmm. you know? Um, but I mean, I don't, I don't see us not doing this um, for at least five more years. That makes sense. I, I I think we can. I think I think it's pretty pretty easy to say. Yeah, we can probably get five more years. Yeah, once yeah. once any of us have kids that are older than like, right, like moving around, starting to go to school or something, right. that might be where it starts to get right. Really I mean, fortunately, it is like summer mm -hmm. is when we do the filming stuff. Yeah. So like, I don't know. We'll just see. Because at some point there will be a time when like priorities are just like I can't I can't get it done. Yeah. You know, and that's okay. That's just how life happens. Yeah. You know. But uh, in the meantime, I love I, – I tell people um, that, like, while the films and all that is a ton of fun, it's a glorified, like, excuse to just get together and hang out. Yep. You know, like, it's just so we can all plan a weekend and make sure that we, like, make it uh, a priority. Yeah. That we're, like, going to take time out of our day, time uh, you know, to try and be there yep. for that. And, yeah. and, and then, I mean, so much of it is, is like, the, the goal of, of the films half the time is, like – I'm making this for my friends right. and because I want them to laugh or, right. or yep. react to it in yeah. some way and, and have fun seeing yep. what I made with mm -hmm. two months of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or for some of us, like a week and a half, a week and a half later, <laughs> yeah. with no ideas. Exactly. <laughs> no plans. Yeah. No, I, I, I'm really happy we get to do this and, and it's, it's so much fun. How, how is your perspective on it? And, and what is your, like, I don't know. Your perspective is different because like some, a lot of us mm -hmm. were media majors yeah. and, or like also now work in, right, in media right. communications. Yeah. And so you don't do any of that. You go I to work not. and you poke people's not. eyeballs. I poke them right in the eight eyes. Hours. Yeah. Um, so like this yeah. is outside your wheelhouse, but yeah. it's probably fun for you because it's so different than yeah. what I you think do regularly. It's a lot of fun. The worst part about it. Um, and, and to say the worst part is editing is like, Oh, big surprise. The worst part is editing, but it's not actually editing. It's that I don't have any editing software. Okay. Like at all. Uh, so I use iMovie and iMovie is miserable. iMovie sucks. Like yep. iMovie would be fine if I was making like, if you were putting together like a slideshow right. for like your family. Exactly. Like, yeah. For you're putting together the family vacation for stuff birthday. for yeah, exactly. Or yeah. like a silly thing for church or something like yeah. that. Right. Like that's all like pretty easy. It, it, it does all that. It's pretty cut and dry. Yeah. But like once you add any amount of green screen, any yep. like any special effects at all, iMovie just jumps off the rails. Yep. 
And so the hard part is either trying to use iMovie. And so if I have more than one layer of green screen, I have to finish the part that I want and export it and then oh, import not- that back in and then put a layer on top of that. And like, so if I'm like three or four layers deep, like, you know, in, in Trapped, how it looks so bad. Like, it's so grainy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because I've exported it six oh. times. Like, <laughs> like it looks miserable because I was working off of a, a laptop from the early 2010s. Yeah. And I'm just exporting on iMovie six different times. The uh, amount of time that takes, too, oh, is it's, just obnoxious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so that's, like, a pain. And then if I want to use Premiere, is Premiere the one? That, Premiere's the Adobe the, the, product. Okay, like, I, it's, it's I sometimes... What's the, there's like a, uh, there's like a PowerPoint that I call it sometimes too. Like, uh, what's the PowerPoint thing called? Like, uh, um, keynote or PowerPoint. No, Photoshop. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, but anyway, so like if I use premiere, I have to borrow someone's laptop for premiere. Yeah. Right. And so I'm then like taking away someone else's time to edit or work, you know, or whatever. Yeah. Um, cause I used Paul's for, um, the unsightly zombies okay but that was because we were on vacation together and so that was pretty convenient like it wasn't that bad yeah you weren't Um, taking it away from work or something like that. exactly uh and then i used zach's for some of this one okay but the other thing is that by the time i've figured out what i'm doing on premiere my movie is over and then i (laughs) submit it and then, and then I, you go and, a year. And then I have a full 12 months to forget how Premiere works and then figure out how I'm editing my next film. Yep. So, like, if I had a more reliable way to edit my films, yeah. that would make make it a whole lot simpler, I think, for me. Yeah, that makes um, sense. But I'm just not committed to putting the work in to, to figure that out. <laughs> yeah, so. and, and you don't have any, like, like, during the rest of the year, you don't have any reason or incentive I have no to, reason to, why to, am to I gonna play around with Why am I going to pay a subscription to Premiere for a film, for a three-minute film that I submit once a year that I spent a week and a half on? Like, no. <laughs> yeah, that's just for your friends. Yeah. Exactly. No, I get that. That 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 would be a disadvantage, I yeah. guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, as opposed to a lot of us that spend so much of our time right. in editing software or yeah. something like that. When it's funny too, even like, uh, this is not this year's or last year. It was, uh, the photo phobia and Photophoria yeah. with me and Paul. And you can just see, like I'm, I edited mine on iMovie and he edited his on Premiere. <laughs> and, and obviously <laughs> Paul is a far more gifted at every, every aspect, aspect of, of that. Filmmaking, yeah. But, but at the end of the day too, like, it's just like, he knows what he's doing for editing and I'm struggling through iMovie with like the same clips, you know? Yeah. So that, 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 it, that is really funny. See, seeing those two, especially side by side. I love those two. Those so two. You, is a group yeah. I love too, that like, like in, um, in Andrew's, uh, analysis or like they were the, just the same. They're just the same. They're, yeah. they're, they're I, I think that's thing. super fair. And I think too. that's yeah. fair. I think it's hilarious. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I, I love party room because like as much time as I spend editing things and, and doing video production and stuff like that for my job, um, there's always something different about doing a party room film. Mm-hmm, certainly. Uh, and, and like every time that I do it, I learn something else that I can do in my software. Sure. Yeah. Um, or like, uh, especially with the most recent one, like every, every time you see the computer headed guy, like yeah. I went in and I cut out his yeah. like screen face and added static behind it and did, yeah. did more motion tracking on that than I yeah. ever had before. And so it was really fun to do that and learn. It was tedious, Yeah. but it's really fun to, try something new and, and learn yeah. that as well. But yeah. I don't really know what all that means, but it sounded really hard. So <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. But yeah. What do you excite? So, so you're five. Are you excited about anything in particular? Um, other than just doing it again and seeing the guys in, in September. Mainly just doing it again and seeing the guys in September. Um, it's just a ton of fun. I think I took off like an extra day of work this year. So like I might be able to stick around a little longer, but I don't know. Nice. So, I'm, I'm hoping to, too. Yeah. Last year, Heather and I were in Mexico yeah. and for a friend's wedding. And it was really funny because like when, when we got the invitation to the friend's wedding, we were like, it's the same weekend as party room. Yeah. Do we, do we skip the wedding? Yeah. You, you kind of can't. You do, know? do we skip the wedding and go to party room film festival? Yeah, yeah. So, so now from like here on forward, we're like, nope, like. 
Labor Day weekend is like booked locked up. for us. Yeah. Like, like it's locked yeah. up. We can't do anything. If yeah. you guys are having a wedding, move it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're going to have to figure that out. Yeah. 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 So since I'm off on Wednesdays, I, I went through the whole calendar for 2024. Yeah. And any like holiday that's like attached to a weekend, I took the other day with it. So like we got Monday off. As like okay. a national holiday. Yeah. So then I take Tuesday and then I have a five day weekend. That's awesome. So like, but I did that for like every day for the whole year. Yeah. You know, that's um, a good way to do that. Maximize your. Exactly. Yeah. So, so like, I think I'm off through like Wednesday. So I don't know. We'll probably just kind of poke around a little bit longer and then I don't know, maybe go do something fun. But yeah. Yeah. See how long Zach's parents will. Let exactly. Us let us, let us, you know, live off their land. <laughs> They're so awesome for they letting are. us do that. They're fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Zach's mom and dad. Yep. They're fantastic. I'm so excited. Yeah. I heard a rumor that we might do fireworks this year because it's the fifth year. So that would be. Oh, fun. yeah. That sounds reasonable. <laughs> That'd be cool. Awesome. Yeah. Well, it's been fun. We've been talking for a little over an hour now. So perfect. I'm glad we got to do this in person. Glad Absolutely. We got to see you and, and yeah. Yeah. yeah we'll, it's awesome. We'll do it again. And this has been the Party Room Film Festival podcast, episode three. Episode three. Uh, for year four, going into year five. I'm just hanging out. Hanging out with my family.